so uh, okay. hello, Miss Pam. I'm so uh, wonder. I'm so happy to uh, be interviewing you for the 58th anniversary. And wow. one of the first questions I have is, what drew you or brought you to Maple Park? What brought me to Maple Park is I was a new resident living on 115th and Racine and someone told me they were having a church service at Whistler. And at that time I was a member of Arnett on 112th and Bishop and my mother and I were walking over there every day. So I just decided to try that. But I only went to Whistler once. Then they changed it to the Lutheran Church on 115th and Ada. And I started going there until the smaller church was built on 117th and Elizabeth. And I liked the people. They seemed to be so friendly and so sincere in their worship of God. So I said, well, I'm gonna stay here. And that's what I did. Mm, that's wonderful. So. In, in, in lieu of that, what has kept you connected? What has kept me connected is one, basically one of the same things that brought me and kept me there from the time really I considered myself a permanent resident was when I was going to the Lutheran Church. And the people at Maple Park United Methodist Church were just so full of God. And I didn't have, there were a lot of things that went on in my life and, and I used to feel unworthy. But when I went to Maple Park, everybody just made me feel like I was a part of. And the prayers that they prayed, uh, they were just so sincere. So I just felt that God led me there. Yes. I and I refused to leave. I am here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so yes. I, I have to ask because I love worship service. What is your favorite part of worship? Um, the choir. All right. <laughs> the choir. But you know what? I also enjoy doing the offertory because mm. a lot of times uh, Vivian Lewis told me that I could, because I, I like to talk, so I can like kind of transmit things that have happened in my life that make me want to give and to let people know that you know, you're not by yourself like I used to feel until I came to Maple Park. So when I do the offertory, I always try to throw some real life into it, in addition to following the word as far as giving is concerned. So it's the offertory that I do sometimes, and it's always choir. Amen. Always. Mm. And so now that we're in these pandemic times and trying to adjust to a new normal, what do you envision for Maple Park's future? I envision us going out to talk to the people and not just be in that building standing on the corner and telling people to come on down. Sometimes we have to get out there and talk to the people and let them know that we're there. They know the building is there, but they need to know us and not just the building because we can just stand on a corner and praise God without ever going into that building. Yes. And I don't know about other people that are scared of the teenagers and this, I'm not scared of any child. So I always go down Racine or one of the streets and if I, if I see some kids that are doing something they don't have any business doing, I stop and talk to them because they need to know that we love them. And I think that's what we have to do. We have to be proactive with the neighborhood to build the neighborhood back up and show that we, as that church on the corner, are concerned and loving and willing to be a part of the community and have them be a part of us. You're absolutely right. I feel the same way. We have to extend ourselves. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, because I love out there and it makes me sick to see what's going on. Of course, you always have to be cautious, but you have to be cautious anyway. Amen. But we have to step out knowing that God is going to take care of us like he's been doing. Yes, yes, and God has carried us for these 58 years and I pray he'll carry us for 58 more. <laughs> Absolutely, he will. I know he will. 
you know. And I I really want to be here for the next 58 years. <laughs> I hear you, Miss Pam. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> and, well, you will probably be here, Jerese, but I might not, but I, you know, I have faith and confidence, so. Hey, all we have is faith and confidence. <laughs> And, That's right. And and so I am so very uh, grateful for the time that we've had. This was a wonderful interview. And Thank you. I, I, I have learned so much. And Thank you. And I want to thank you guys for even considering me to be a Maple Park legend. I don't consider, I'm old, but you know, when they say you're a Maple Park legend, you've been going there. You know, because in the interim, I talked my mother into coming there instead of continually walking to Arnett. I said, Ma, they got a church right here, and they're cool, you know. And then Mama started coming, too. Yeah, we're so. some good people from good stock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we try. I ain't <laughs> all that good all the time, but I work on it. <laughs> but we have a lot of rich history, and we have a lot of uh, strong family ties and, and good values. You know, I'm I'm proud well, to be Mabel Parker. Thank you, and I'm proud of, that you're there and that you never let anybody, no matter what happens, turn you away from your home because that's your home. Man. And I hope you never do because nobody gonna move me out of there. No, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm not going without a fight. <laughs> there you go. Don't go, period, because you always have to remember that you would err when some of the people that we don't, because we're not going to like everybody, so we would err when those people came, and we'll be there when they leave. That's how you work that one. You know, you just look at them and be mad and get over it and then smile. <laughs> I'm still here, you know, because we still have the same God. Yes, we still serve the same God. I wholeheartedly agree. Right. Right. So all righty. End of our session. You did it already. Job. Okay. Yep. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I, I love you guys. Thank you again. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Teresa. I'm so proud of you. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Miss Pam. I'm glad that I was able to interview you. Me too. Me too. I was like, please let him give me Teresa. <laughs> I, <feel special. laughs> I did. And <laughs> they were giving me a list. I said, no, no, let's stop it, Teresa. <laughs> May I please have Teresa? They said, absolutely. I said, thank you. Oh, thank so, you, Miss Pam. Please. That made me feel really good. You're welcome, sweetheart. You're welcome. You <laughs> have a marvelous <laughs> day. You too. And thank you for considering me. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Yes, yes. Love you, Miss Pam. I love you too, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
so uh, okay. hello, Miss Pam. I'm so uh, wonder. I'm so happy to uh, be interviewing you for the 58th anniversary. And wow. one of the first questions I have is, what drew you or brought you to Maple Park? What brought me to Maple Park is I was a new resident living on 115th and Racine, and someone told me they were having a church service at Whistler. And at that time, I was a member of Arnett on 112th and Bishop, and my mother and I were walking over there every day. So I just decided to try that. But I only went to Whistler once. Then they changed it to the Lutheran Church on 115th and Ada. And I started going there until the smaller church was built on 117th and Elizabeth. And I liked the people. They seemed to be so friendly and so sincere in their worship of God. So I said, well, I'm going to stay here. And that's what I did. Mm, that's wonderful.